Okay, now we've done our setup. And let's look back at our planned layout for this web page. In this case, we want a fixed width web page, 960 pixels wide. We've already, in week seven, put all the, the content elements and we put it inside a div whose ID is wrapper. Now we want the header to span the width of the entire page, all 960 pixels. We want the nav to be also centered at the top of the page, right after the header. We want the article to be left justified. We want it to be 600 pixels wide. And we want the aside to be also left justified, but on the right side. Any articles in the article and aside, any images or headings, we want them to be centered. And if there's any cases, especially in the aside, where the text is too long, we're going to replace it by an ellipsis, the dot, dot, dot. The distance between the article and the aside, the gap, is going to be 20 pixels. So 600 plus 340 plus 20 equals 960. And the footer will span the width of the web page, all 960 pages, all 960 pixels, and we want them the contents to be centered. So let's look at what we have on our web page. This is how it is right now and everything is all on the left, all left justified. And you can see that here's the header, header comes first, the nav comes second, the article comes third, followed by the aside, and the very last thing is the footer. Let's take a look at our code brackets. So the first thing first is the wrapper. We want to make sure that its width is going to be 960 pixels. But before we do that, remember when we did the unit on the box model, we talked about does the box size include the border, does it not? Well, we want to specify that yes, we do want the box model, so all the elements that the box size does include the border. And Emmet, if you have that Emmet plugin as suggested, does have a shortcut for that, and it's BXZ. B, X, Z. And then you hit tab and it fits out information for you. Of course, I need to have the selector, so let me undo that. So B, X, Z is the shortcut, but we need the selector. We want everything to be affected, including to, to take care of uh, unusual cases, we want to Make sure that preceding elements, uh, parents, uh, will also get the correct box sizing. And any children, oops, star, asterisk is a wild card, if, if you know your regular expression, so after. And so those are the selectors. Everything, everything that comes before me and everything that comes after me. Now start that rule and then type in your Emmet shortcut BXZ. 
and then tab and that will make sure that the box sizing is always including the border. So when you're calculating the size of the box, which is really critical in layout. Also, you'll notice that it gives you a couple of vendor prefixes and then the W3C fallback. Okay, so that's the first thing is to make sure that sizes are what we expect them to be. And let's see, we have H, the body, H1, H2, P, footer, question, and then nav information. This is what we did in week seven and in the midterm. So what I am going to do now is after those, is uh, after the P, I'm going to be starting on the first of my major structural elements, and that's going to be the div whose ID is wrapper. Now, because it's an ID, I can just say hashtag, do not forget this, otherwise you will be very sad when it doesn't work. Wrapper, because, oops, because that's the name of that ID, the name of that div, its ID is wrapper, because it wraps everything inside of it. And what we are going to do is set its width. In fact, if we were future proofing, we would say max width, but for now, for the fixed one, we'll just say width and we want it to be 960 pixels. If the viewport is wider than 960 pixels, we want the contents to be centered. And so what we will do is we'll set the margin left and margin right to auto. And margin right. So I should see something right away on this. And one other thing that I'm going to do, it's a style thing for looks, but to help us see where the actual wrapper is, I am going to set its background color. And I'm going to choose a color that I selected uh, with Palaton.com to find a, a related color. So let me put that here. FFF 5DC. If I hover, you'll see it's kind of light colored. Okay, I'm going to save that change. Now let's see on our web page what happens when I refresh. Okay, there we've got 960 pixels, and you can always check using the developer tools. So everything is contained and centered, all the content centered, but there's still one right after the other and they are all left justified. So let's take things one at a time. Actually, I am going to end this video now because I do have a time limit and you have an attention span limit and we'll do the header next.